Welcome to watchingcomplain.com. What? <laughs> yeah, and we watched the movie. Uh, well, you watched it. Yeah. Come on. No, no, no. I thought you didn't watch but one of the movies. No, no. Oh, I didn't watch that. What the fuck is Arcane or that other stupid one that you watch? Hot Zone. Hot Zone. Arcane, um, Arcane's worth watching. And so no, was Hot I Zone. Bet, I no, bet so you we Hot watched... Zone was actually probably the best produced movie or show of anything we watched this week. God damn it, I'm going to blow my nose. Well, Finch was looked like it was expensive. Yeah, it was. That's it, because Apple has a trillion fucking dollars. Where, where yeah, are you going wrong? Yeah, it was incredibly um, well produced. <laughs> Rob but has like left. in terms of uh, in terms of like um, production values, yeah, I guess Finch would definitely. Oh yeah, know. for sure. But it, is it Hot a... Zone a number two? This could, Finch could have been in the theater. To be honest, it well, was it wasn't amazing, but it, it could have been. Well, it in made the five million dollars or maybe twelve. I think but for, I think Apple Hanks. has more money than they know what to do with, mm -hmm. which is why which is they good. got stuff like Amazing Stories, which was crap. Uh, but it was. We, it was oh very. Man, it was it the was most bad. expensive crap. I only watched the final, the one about the World War II pilot flying, and I'm like, how could they spend so much money on something this mediocre? Yep. But with doing what they're doing, you get the good stuff. Uh, and that's what it is. Like, there's stuff like Finch and there's stuff like Amazing Stories, but then you're also getting stuff like For All Mankind in the Morning Show. You know what I mean? Uh, which... <laughs> I've never watched it, but uh, do you think I'd like the morning show? No, I, I think honestly, it's probably I... terrible or we would have watched no, it. No, I think you you would like the morning show. The problem with the morning show is they're focusing right now too much on um, an actress that is not a great actress, and also it's a very uh, generic storyline. Uh, Reese, Reese Witherspoon. No, Reese, Reese Witherspoon. Yeah, yeah her character. Actress. I don't like Ruth Wizard mm. Compared to the... Uh, and then Mark Duplass shows up in this, and I wish someone would run that guy over the truck because he sucks. You should but see him play like a pedophile in Goliath season two. He absolutely... See, I could watch him. Is that because that's what he fucking looks he's like? He's hilarious because it's like he knows... It's almost like he knows he's outclassed in this movie. So he... In which movie? In Goliath? Or sorry, the TV series. Yeah, Goliath. I so feel he, like he's like that in fucking morning show too. But he like too. brings a character to the table. Which is so, which is so funny. Of like, um, I the only comparison I can find is like Ethan Hawke versus Denzel Washington in, <laughs> in Training Day, Day, where it's like Denzel is blowing him on out of the water, and Ethan Hawke is like holding on for dear life. But no, it's I like just, that kind of when thing. if you watch the morning show, uh, Jennifer Aniston is so good. I never realized she's how never, good an actress I she's. Surprised, she's surprised. She's surprised. She's a good me. comedic actress. She's surprised with how good she is in this. Steve Carell's a very no, good she actor. Had, she had okay. No, it shows on, entirely on, on your around. point. The she had good direction and she had good writing, but she was not a good actress. I think on this show, she she proves that she actually can act. Well, that's good. You know, Marsha Gay Harden's great in it. Uh, but the good. best actor in the whole show that blows you away is Billy Crudup. Billy Crudup's a great actor. I fucking no, love Billy not. Crudup. I don't like him at all. He is so much fun to watch. No, and he's he can not. he can be. Sure. He he I don't think so. I think he he's one of those actors that can really inhabit the role that you put him into. Yeah. Like um, Dr. Manhattan, right? But he played uh whatever Dr. Manhattan's name was before he was talking about uh, that. But you also know, he's, done, remember he's if he done was a other good stuff. actor and could make you remember I, the characters. No, I, can't, I can't remember it off the top of my head. But he's very good in this. Uh Reese Witherspoon is the same fucking role she's done for the 40 other movies that she's been in. Legal and Blonde and Sweet and Legal and I'm Jailbait and I'm it's 18. All, it's all pretty much the American same. American Psycho. The, all the same thing. She wasn't an American Psycho. Yeah, she was. She was Patrick Bateman's girlfriend. Oh, that's right. She was. I kept on thinking about uh, Chloe Savini as Se the uh, thing. Seven Yay. But uh, Seven Yay. Star of the Brown Bunny. It's all that matters. Also, um, uh, The Dead Don't Die. <laughs> and Big Love. You know what? I can't stand The Dead Don't Die. It, I knew it wasn't going to be good. Jim Jarmusch is one of those guys that I can't figure out what the fuck is good about his movies. But forget all that shit. We're talking about Finch. Uh, speaking of movies that shouldn't have been made, um, it, Finch feels like, it definitely feels like a COVID movie. And it feels like... We they had said, this in the can. We might as well finish it. it we had this in Bob's. the can with... Uh, uh, we were going to make this percent. with fucking well. Bob Johnson. And then we're like, you know what? We really need like a star to star in this movie. Because it's not a good movie. Exactly. We need the star power for it. So they were like, dude, we're Apple. We have trillions of billions of dollars. Let's throw, uh, an, uh, an, uh, put enough zeros on the check that it goes off the check and give it to Tom Hanks. 
Because it feels like Tom Hanks is really slumming it in this movie. It did. It wasn't one of his. It was far. It was the closest but thing to a not good Tom he Hanks is role since the, Cloud Atlas. He is the best part of the movie. Can you, yes. um, uh, what did I want to see on there about the production companies involved in, in this movie? <laughs> All 19 of them? Because it, yeah, yeah. Because that was the thing of like, Greyhound was an Apple movie, but that was mostly made by Sony before it was yep. sold Greyhound Apple. is a fucking good movie, man. It was I enjoyed solid. Greyhound. It was solid. It wasn't amazing, but it could Not been... amazing, but it moved at a great clip. Yeah, I yeah. I really great enjoyed sound how design. Moved. Uh, no, you have to go on Wikipedia because right. they don't give you shit on IMDb. But the whole point of Finch, uh, I'll talk about the the plot to it. Uh, a guy that I believe they you see for a second on his key card that he was a robotics engineer. No, 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 keep going. Uh, he's surviving in the apocalypse, and um, he decides that oh, he's got Steven cancer. Spielberg and Wal- Walden Media. So, oh. so he's, it would have been a universal picture. Um, well, would have been uh, Wal. Walden Media has... But would it have been Universal or would it have been... Um... Because it's by Amblin Entertainment. Steven Spielberg is basically... Yeah, but Walden isn't Amblin. Walden is the thing that he made they, that's they beside used to have a deal. They had a deal with Disney and then they went to 20th Century Fox and then they got bought out by that. And they're like, they're a production company who sells movies to things and they have these things like a first look deal where it's like they might have a deal signed with a studio of like they get like 75 percent of the funding together oh. and the, it but it's like that they're not their own distributors but they oh, make they mo- it's like alcon or village roadshow pictures or um i'm trying to think of like a, a good one but i can't think of them but like yeah of like the Weinstein company is probably the best example of it, okay. even though they distribute where it's like they pretty much have the movie made and it's like we can get the last 25% by, for, by Warner Brothers or Universal or you, oh, but it's like they just need to distribute There was a popular one that did, that, that did it for horror movies, like... Shudder, uh, and I know Bloomhouse. Uh, maybe Bloomhouse, Bloomhouse does. Yeah. Blumhouse. Yes, for sure. Those guys can fuck right off. The, but, but they uh, do most of it, yeah. They, like, so Blumhouse t- had Paranormal Activity with Paramount. But fuck. they have... Uh, like a first look deal now, I think with Universal. So they do. They did those M Night Shyamalan so we get movies. Great movies like The Conjuring and James Magnet. Wan's. That's actually movie. a Warner Brothers picture. Really, I'm surprised. Yeah. James Wan is a douchebag who will shop anything to anybody. Magnet will attach Fuck to, that guy. To yeah, anything. Yeah, yeah. James Wan because he sucks. I you mean, know what? But I haven't watched yeah, Malignant yet, so we'll see I mean, what I think after definitely Malignant. Definitely won't convince you. But I Finch. wonder about like okay, so why is James Wan regarded as being like? Such a good director now. Is it because we have so few? Uh, nope. I think it's because James Wan, if he's anything, he's efficient. He's one of those directors that walks in, knows what doesn't work in a scene, and puts it together. The problem is he makes these shitty movies like Insidious and The Conjuring and the fucking Hills, all these dumb fucking movies that he makes. They're generic pablum, and they go, ah, when something's scary. That's about it. And I think that's all horror directors now know how to do, and it's fucking terrible. What do you think of Aquaman, it, it then? Sells just Aquaman sucked. I Watching agree. Aquaman, that movie fucking stunk. Those horror mm. movies sell just enough to make it profitable. They're, yep, they make so it profit. Like, yep. That's why I always found horror And that's what, that's what I mean by James Wan. He's very efficient. He knows, like, all right, I can get this done under budget, and we're going to put it out there. Let's get a bunch of social media, uh, uh, um, you know, get everybody uh, on board. Like, oh, yeah, this is definitely a movie to see. It cost us $25 million to make. We'll bring in $50 million our, uh, our first mm-hmm. weekend, which is going to make up for our marketing budget as well. Great. Just get the next. I don't give a shit what it is. Just get me spending on the next fucking movie. Mm-hmm. So it's not that I, I take that back. And not that James Wan is a bad director, but he is a very, uh, he's a yes man director. He's a very efficient, get the movie done that they want to do, get it under budget, deliver it. Done. I'm on I the have next a job. Thing. That's all that matters. Yep. Exactly. So, like, Furious Seven is a good example of that. Oh, fuck. Thing. Like, he was handed a whammy with that of like when your main character <laughs> dies halfway through. Seven. But it made it a better movie. That I hate to say this, but that Paul Walker died probably gave the movie more attention than it would oh, have absolutely. had otherwise, production wise. Because if you've seen Fast and the Furious Eight or Nine, oh, he's unfortunately, <laughs> unfortunately, I made him watch I have. every single one. He actually, I was going to bring that up. You challenged yourself to do it, and I was all on top Six of it. Six is my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> like is my favorite of those movies, but I was gonna bring okay. up. Did you see that Vin Diesel? Because yeah. he knows the star power is dying for these shit movies. Well, he knows because no. Red Notice comes out this, this week, and this, it's supposed to be terrible. No, this is all part of a plan. Yeah, I they bet it is. They already have the Rock on board. This is all nope. part of a. Pl- He's not signed nope. on. I don't buy. Movies, I don't they buy. They already it for have a them all. They nope. already like squashed the thing pretty much, and this is them going. 
<laughs> we're gonna nope. tease this upcoming movie. But to, you know what? It strikes me. What my theory on this is interesting is that like I figured that it's like okay, I bet he, we're not even in camera. Yeah, anymore. is it's that he signed this deal for like a set number of fast movies that's like completed now, and it's like oh yeah, well when the when the marketing thing comes up, we're gonna do this and do this, and then it kind of like got away where it's kind of like okay, but it's now like they're slightly taking it personally. Maybe. I would say that the. Like, neither one actually needs the other. You don't need Dwayne Johnson to be I, in Fast I think, and Furious to make it a good movie. No. But, like, the movies aren't good anyways. That's right. But they still make money. But it's because I think it's all the star power. So Vin Diesel, he tried yes. this... Uh, um, um, the ego the on that man. Oh, my God. Uh, it's a, He's got as big... His ego he's far just, surpasses his, his brain cells. He's just high all the time. It doesn't matter. But... That whole thing with Paul Walker's daughter, that was an absolute publicity stunt. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. And it didn't get him the publicity that he needed to get The Rock on board for Fast and Furious to say, oh, he's a good guy. Because all he's got is the Fast and Furious. Riddick That's doesn't right. bring it, in the money. He's already on board, I tell you. Nope. He's on board. I call he, he's bullshit. He's going to be in the 9 and 10 or one of them. There's ten, there but there's all, two movies. Th- technically, th- this makes no is sense. there going to be a 10.1 or the 10.2? Because they said, they said in the last one when they were making it, they are like, okay, don't worry about wrapping stuff up for a 10th movie. We'll we'll have you do two more if you need. So then it was a big deal. If you look it up here, it's like two more Fast movies were signed <laughs> on. And now Vin yes. is trying to be like... I can't oh. believe... There is two but more. I can't you know believe there's the, been 10 of these this fucking stupid movies. This isn't written movies. yet, though. So technically the two, they can do one or two or whatever. The two thinking. more are Harry Potter type style. It's, one, it's yeah. part one and part two. And they've already... The rumor going around is that The Rock has been signed on quietly and that he... The, the agreement is that they are not going to be on camera together ever during the <laughs> thing. They'll be separate things, but he's signed on. But I, group I, shot, I that, can't it, that doesn't that make shit. a good movie, though. It well, doesn't, the, the, doesn't matter. He's yeah. there. Yeah. Yeah. Then, look at all these fucking shit Fast and Furious movies. Look at all these They're shit movies junk. in general. These Audiences movies are, are losing. These movies are like the police academies. They're garbage. That's actually a good And I have no comparison. fucking idea... Why anyone wants what, to see what them. other movie makes it to nine installments? There's something to say about the casual watcher who just wants to see this crazy car chase with this I casual guess. Okay. guy. That's... Fast and Furious Six is one of my favorite movies of all time. I will honestly say that every time I watch it, what they achieve that's Which like the was... apex. Number six, where they go to London with the super long runway. And the mm. thing about the super yeah. long runway is that everybody watches it and goes, I hate myself that I, I fucking know remember that. They're like, I know that there's oh, no runway in oh, the world that is that yeah. long. But it's the right play where they make of like, okay, this is unrealistic. There's no runway that, that is this long. But in order for this to happen in the story and this person to get their part and this person to That's fight. That's what him and I talked about during it's, it, right? It's, it's yeah. like they make, they make <laughs> well, that fair trade. Back. Him and I, the other movies are too much. Him and I would talk about it. I was like, schlock is such a, a fine fucking line mm-hmm. where you're, okay, this is stupid to you're like, this is stupid. Yeah. You know what I mean? And, I wanna, and it's yeah. such a fine line. And uh, I think it was number six with that stupid fucking safes going down the street. But there's That's something five. to say five, about five, like... Sorry. That, but that one got it. That yeah. that got yeah. the joke. Because they got an yeah. actual... But like, then in the fucking number nine, safe. when he's like, hang on, get me right. And he fucking wraps the... Like fucking Indiana Jones, he's swinging the car across. That's yeah. fucking stupid, no, man. Well, how can you say that? Oh, no. Stupid. How can I you agree. say the safe thing? They're they're going in on the safe thing, and that's so fun and dandy. And then you say, it, you know what? Because that scene doesn't have a lot thing. of Vin Diesel. <laughs> Any scene that has a lot of Vin Diesel, I'm you like, I hate this. You know what I, I find? This. It's it's just about putting in the work <laughs> into the story to have it like. Make oh sense. yeah, there's a lot of work goes into no, those stories. No, but that's the thing. Is like in those, those things, fucking it stories make sense, and they take a bunch of thirteen year olds. They fucking hype them right the fuck up on monster energy drinks and Adderall. They have them all write down maybe three pages of a script treatment, throw that in the fucking air, let it all land in a pile, put it together, and that's their script. Why, why can't they, like, this is that the was most Tokyo prof- Drift. Aside, <laughs> as, aside from Marvel is the Avengers, this is the most profitable movie franchise in the world. Why Boggles can't they hire... Mind. I, it doesn't boggle my okay. mind. You look at through all of this. So look at it, this comes back to everything we've been talking about. With the harder they fall, okay, that movie in a way, is like a, a stunt of, like, we're making, like, an all-black movie. Mm-hmm. Whereas Fast and the Furious naturally found a way to, like, represent everybody. 
in the series. So when people see those movies internationally, they see themselves, but it's not like a cliche because oh, the main fuck. character is what, like What part of Fast and Furious is is not a cliche? The fact that they it's not like it's sequelizing itself. It's not based on like a book. There isn't a movie like Fast 9 isn't like a rip off of like Point Break like Army of Thieves is. But you're going to you know? say that the any of, of the characters isn't, like unforgiven in, or in Fast gone. and the Furious are not a, a bro douchebag. Yeah, yeah. The they first all movie are. was a rip off it's of a Point Break. It's a constant cash in that works. Man. And but I guess why that's why they're better me. writers is my question. But why? They don't, mean, they've proven they don't that it works to. without it. Yeah, they do. They because don't, they've though. proven it works without it. It's all about making the best movie. No, not it's not. For, not for this yes, fucking franchise. You to you, in general. <laughs> sure. And I agree with that. You don't think Justin Lin doesn't want to make a good movie as the director? I think it doesn't matter to be like to try and reach out and try to get that goal when he's making millions upon millions just yep. going, okay, let's just, okay, okay, let's just, okay. That's, that's all he's just saying, right. yes, man, as, as you would say. I and don't speaking, think so. Like he... Speaking of someone that took a, that usually is a wonderfully good actor and then said, oh, you're going to throw a boatload of fucking money at me to make garbage? Tom Hanks and fucking Finch. We should oh, look God. up how much did Tom Hanks Wait, did make we, what, for this Did we talk anything about Finch in this? <laughs> oh, my God. But the, for me, I, I didn't have a lot of notes on Finch. Um, <laughs> it's perfectly <laughs> adequate. The only thing Not that no. really sells the movie is Tom Hanks, even in a shit movie like this, he he is it's a awesome. very, very good uh, good actor. You know, what? like when you, uh, I got uh, reminded of him, picture. him oh. uh, working with, uh, um, uh, in Castaway with uh, the fuck with the beach ball, balls. yeah. With the beach ball, Wilson. Wilson, yeah. He... He emotes wonderfully with a fucking Amazing. beach ball. That's and why if, if... But then when you watch him in this movie... Which and Robert he, Zemeckis also produced. I think he director did of Castaway. Amazing. Yeah, I know. He, he produced Finch? Zemeckis? Yes. Yeah. I didn't see Zemeckis' name anywhere. Here it is right here. Uh, production companies and then where is it? Produced by well, Robert surprised. Zemeckis. But I, I think his acting was great. I think it that's was. Saving. His he was the was only good part of it. Saving no. grace of this movie was him. It's a, no. it's a one person show. No, it's I'm the biggest mostly. heel. I completely disagree. I was thinking, watching this movie in spoiler alert, that if he, him dying is the end of the first act of whatever story this is trying to tell. It's mm -hmm. about his impact on the robot and the robot's impact on humanity. But the movie just kind of, like, it's a bottle TV episode dragged out yep, to, right. like, 100 minutes. And it's uh, completely wastes the audience's yes. time yep. on everything. All Even the though story, the director is skilled, he did two of the best uh, episodes I, of Game of Thrones, Battle of the Bastards, and he also did Hard Home, Miguel Sapachank. And it's like, know. these are I, all... I'd argue Battle of the They're all talented people, episode. but you know what this movie lacks? It lacks vision. Like, it uh, just doesn't have a reason to exist. Yep. It, it, no, you hit the nail on the head with... It, it, it felt like kind of a schmaltzy, let's learn together, robot. Like, it could have been like a 30-minute fucking like, yeah. full house episode. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. But and it, we it, have it, pretty much seen that. But it, it exists solely and is only watchable once never again yeah solely on the strength of tom hanks i would never recommend anybody to watch this it's too boring eh, it was nothing, fine nothing fine. happens I, I didn't in the movie I'd no, no, what happens in the movie phil uh, no i agree that the story the the that writing is, is is not great i agree with that i totally agree with that but the acting was, tom, a, was really good no it's That's it's, it's, on, it's on the bottom twenty of the, like Tom Hanks. the bottom movie. twenty of, not, of Tom Hanks' yeah, performances. Is yes, huge. <laughs> but no, it's but still pretty fucking good. Forget. Let's take the the specter of Tom Hanks out of this for a second. This is just not a well. Like, oh yeah, he, you, you he take acts, you take Tom Hanks out of this movie. It's 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 uh, available from fucking. I disagree. Village, I think, or not Village Roadshow, uh, uh, Vinegar Syndrome. I thought it was I think, really weird when he got into the suit. It just seemed off. I, I, I mean, was uh, the white suit. How depressing was? Oh it? yeah, <laughs> it was Ricardo like, Montalban. Doesn't even at the seem end. like his character. Like. Yeah. Wait, Ricardo Montalban. Oh yeah, D so he looks like Khan uh, looked, somehow. No, Italian Ricardo Montalban. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I was thinking of it that when he gets blood stains on it, I'm like, oh no, you wore a white <laughs> suit to the desert. What did you think was gonna happen? But I, yeah, it, it was fine. Uh, but when did Ricardo Montalban wear a white suit? Fantasy Island. 
Oh, it's a okay. show yeah, that yeah, you yeah, guys yeah, yeah. wouldn't know because you're much too young. It was just remade. It just came out, and there was a Blumhouse movie made. Yeah. Right? Oh, wow. So what I a big surprise. It. Blumhouse fucking ripped something off. That was their one bomb, but you know what? Oh, it, their one bomb. Okay, but it was made cheaply, <laughs> this month. so who cares? That's a, that's a Blumhouse quality. <laughs> you, 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 How you, awesome you make would it them be? cheap, and hopefully something comes of it. Yeah, exactly. How? And then you get something <laughs> like Get Blumhouse. Out, which costs like $5 million. That was awesome. Yep, yeah, very and good. And totally makes up And speaking of fucking the audience, like we were talking about with Heart of They Fall... I'd argue that Get Out is made for a black audience, but can be yes. enjoyed by a white audience yes, as well. I agree. That's totally. another thing. Nah, harder they I fall. Think, I think that like harder they fall. If you were to pick, like, oops, sorry. Every one of these movies is made for like everybody. No, but, but I would no. say if you were to if you were to divide the line, you'd say the harder they fall is made for black people, and Finch is made for white people, and we both got shorthanded. Oh, the, the white people got more short. When you watch Get Out. A white person is not going to get the same return a black person's going to oh, get yeah. from I, it. I find that and, but funny. when you watch The Harder They see... Fall, I think both black and white will be equally disappointed. I find that funny. Like People kind of forget that like Jordan Peele Fifth. and Keegan-Michael Key are both half black, half white. You, you have yep. to also I remember think... that so, like, 50%, it's made for everybody. 50% of the population of the United States wanted to vote, want, voted for Trump, pretty much. Like, More than 50% originally. Think, think of that. Stop the steal, Phil. How many Phil? Really less, are there out mean, there? Did you How say more than 50%? Because that's like factually <laughs> inaccurate. Time. But originally, the first time, in yeah. 2016. Yeah, okay. So the, my point Actually, is... Actually, wait. No, many... that's also not true. 49% did. He just had more delegates. Yes. So okay. you're factually my incorrect, point, Phil. Oh, my God. My point is half the United <laughs> States, why I was generally this show. speaking, is or could be... In that realm of bigotry <laughs> and wouldn't understand. So you think everybody who voted for Trump is a bigot? That's no. what you're saying oh, on this show right God. now. Uh, you're fired. I Get would, out of here. I would this say is that. why I was added to the show to spice it up. <laughs> Filmgamer.com. Like, Phil, you're like Baron R. Conan in the bedroom. You were you have no spice. You need to spice things uh, up. I heard that joke this week. Um, I'm leaving. I would say well, it wasn't it wasn't a fat joke, Phil. No, anyone not this time <laughs> that voted for Trump supports a Republican ideology is that is from moron. 80 years ago. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, I'm just saying. I, I mean, we're getting far from Finch here. But <laughs> no, I, 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 okay, yeah. No, Finch. we're not. You know what? It was Republicans that destroyed the world yes. uh, in <laughs> Finch. <laughs> So no, thanks, it, Republicans, it was, for destroying the fucking world. I actually world. imagine that Finch was a closet Republican. It was every, <laughs> in Finch, it was everybody. He didn't want to see people. He didn't. It's like, oh, we can't go to New York. You know what that means, people. Meanwhile, you don't see. I don't think you see. It didn't even dawn on me. You don't see another person this entire movie, right? Yep. Yeah, not and even the person that, that driving in them, the car, which was so lame. Well, yeah, yeah it didn't make any sense. But again, that's how you know it's a fucking oh, COVID movie. Oh, we have yeah. one actor. We only need to pay one actor, and oh, then who else? Like, green oh, screen, green tell, screen. Don't robot. you guys hate it? And they say it. It's like the you need to take a come take a look at this cliche. It's like Finch. I have to tell you something instead of saying what the thing is that he has to tell you. It's like that bridge is too low. It's like oh, Finch. There's something you should know. I have no time. Yeah. No, the worst. Speaking was, of guy, he was in Get Out. Caleb the worst was um, uh, uh, so wow. we're we're supposed to be told that uh, he's got four directives. His first directive is uh, uh, cannot harm a human or allow three a human to be harmed. Right. So the three laws: the Isaac Asimov's yeah, he, three laws of robotics. Said two, uh, he only the rules, said the first yeah. one, then, he, but he's got four directives in total, yeah. giving you the assumption that the first three, uh, the, the his first three directives are the three laws of robotics. That's what I would assume. Yeah. So he allows Finch. To drive onto the bridge, destroy the fucking car, possibly injure Panic. himself. Panic. And the first fucking law of robotics is do not harm a human or allow through my inaction a human to come to harm. Except when it conflicts with the first two laws. The, no, the second, I cannot harm. Uh, first law of robotics is do not harm a human or allow a human to do something that will bring the harm. Second law of robotics is do, do not uh, harm another robot that will allow uh, in part of that action for that robot. I thought the second harm. law was no. do whatever a human says. No. But you're not allowed to do something. Driving the under the that's, bridge that's, was not against any of the laws. It was. What he, law? He, because he, it's, You cannot allow a human to do something that will bring harm upon them. That's what, part, part what of the first law. What harm was done upon them? He could have got fucked. Killed, he's running his car under a bridge. That, that's but it's that's like a possibility. He, he it's not him. guaranteed, and he told them to do it. See, yeah. I oh, so think this movie, there was, like there the was screenplay, is not does not support these laws at yeah, all. Yeah, and the that's the problem with those fucking laws. Asimov's book makes perfect sense out of it. 
in this in in every movie where they try to call upon the the three laws of robotics, they always get something wrong. What about iRobot? Cuz oh, I Christ. I love that movie. Oh god. I, it. I saw it at the drive-in with Alien versus Predator. Perfect B movie. With a woman and I did go I with was... two women. Oh, your mother and your aunt. No. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I saw that. iRobot and saw I I like Isaac Asimov stuff. But I like, and you know, I'm different Except from you guys foundation. in that I Fuck like, that shit. I'm loving Foundation. I love Foundation. But, but, but that you can show. tell, that show is so you can terrible, tell you not Foundation, so what, what, what is ass, from the book. I love it. You can tell what's written from the book David Goyer. and what's written by Goyer. All it's the pointless terrible. shit that makes absolutely no sense, absolutely by Goyer. Let's, let's, all the you underlying, mean the entire show? All, all right. the underlying, all right. All right. Uh, what do you call it, uh, uh, bureaucracy, that's absolutely right. from right. fucking Asimov. Yeah. But Finch. that show makes so many terrible no, writing decisions. We can decisions. talk about that in the That's all Goyer. It's why I'm not watching it. Yeah, the creator of the show. Finch. Uh, Out of ten, let's just... Get it out of the way, and we'll do the bottom. One thing, one thing I will say uh, uh, in regards to Finch is, um, oh, out of all the movies that we watched, How Do They Fall, um, forgot what it was called, Army the first of one, Thieves. Army of Thieves, and this one, this one was the most emotionally manipulative, and I fucking hate movies that are emotionally manipulative. I was more attached to the characters, honestly, in The Harder They Fall than I was. Uh, no, they, they, so they never the didn't end, like it. They the never end, forced the you. They, they never fall. forced you to be. They never for, go, Dude, shouldn't you care about that? You but, should care about that. Shouldn't you care of, about this guy? They never did that in Harder They Fall. But it, at the end of the Harder They Fall, when, um, uh, that, that the whole when he scene. reveals <laughs> that Idris Elba is Jonathan Majors' stepbrother, stepbrother yep. uh, that didn't make you feel something of like, nope. I was like, okay, you shouldn't kill Because him. they're not saying, he because he says to him, he says, you, uh, you'll kill me because that's what you got to do. You're a, you're a buck. Right, mm -hmm. I can never bring myself to kill my own brother, but you've got to do it because I'm a terrible person. So he's never saying, "Don't kill me, pretty please." I'm mm -hmm. I'm your brother. But in Finch, they're going, "Oh, Jeff, you're gonna have to take care of this dog, Jeff. When I die, can you go play ball with he the dog, dog, Jeff? He loves his Finch. fucking dog. That is that's emotionally manipulative, but I don't like when movies uh, do so that. You, because you, that's that's a sign of a shit writer. So do you love your dog? And the harder they fall, yes. Uh, for me, it is. For me, I the only reason Finch is a bit better than Harder They Fall is the acting performances. I think the production, like we were, me and Phil were discussing, it's like the sorry, the production values of like Finch are insanely high. Yeah, yeah. They are insanely high, and yeah. it's like I wish more movies like it looks like an actual movie, and it yeah. has a lot of the the stuff in it. It's just the story. After assembling all of that, the story it decides to tell. I, I agree with you. The story is shit. Yep. And, you know and, why? Because they're all streaming movies that we watched this but week. Acting was great. Production yep. was great. I don't think it was a good aside Tom from Hanks that. Performance. Eh. I thought it was Tom, one of Tom Hanks' he weaker performances. Why? What is he doing with his voice? It was one of his weaker Character. performances. He was but when you look at all of his performances, they're, they're like all them. relatively What's good. What's the point of him? It's like, oh, we have to move or, or we'll die, and then he like dies because yeah. he's, he's a name. He's yeah. Tom Hanks. Also, the but, fucking but like, title is a why. Finch. You know, like, so boring. But again, though, okay, that's how you know that it's Apple's like, okay, funny. we got this shit. We got this shit story. Um, we, we need something to make this attractive to people. Throw a bunch of money at fucking Tom Hanks. Tell him the fucking movie is the name of his character. That's how you get it done. I think Tom was honestly just swayed because he didn't <laughs> have to play uh, based on a true story character again. For the, I'd like, argue five hundredth times he's so it, sick of playing. It's a good real movie. Character. I'd argue that he was bored. Forgotten. Yeah, I'd argue that he was bored. It's he just, just the story wasn't do. good. There wasn't a way. There wasn't a whole lot of depth to the character. There was no way. He just basically does nothing. He's just the robot is created in the beginning. The robot does most of the work, and then he mm -hmm. dies. Yep. It's like which is why he should have died at the end of the first act and the rest of the movie. If Honestly, it, if it was seeing the robot based on what he did, like I was thinking, you know that Black Mirror episode Metalhead um, with the killer robots yep, yep, that's yep, in yep, black yep. and white. To me, that's like a, a kind of like almost like a better version of the same. I, I was going to say if this story. movie could be a bit darker um, mm -hmm. and a lot shorter, it would have been a great episode of The Twilight Zone. You know, oh, that show fucking sucks. Uh, the remake I'm, of it is garbage. I'm all, right, I'm all right with some of them. Some of them are okay. A good chunk of them were. None of them are some good. Them are What's okay. the best one we, of the new stuff? Twilight Zone. Do yeah. we rate Finch yet? No. No. I would give Finch. 
Six point five. I'm giving ten. it a one for uh, <laughs> production value being outstanding, but the story isn't worth a damn. That's so I that's can't. Not, you're gonna go with one. That's so. What come on. What do you mean? Come on. There wasn't any you're allowed scores to have your inflated. own ratings, scores, Phil. Scores are so. I gave those Fast inflated. and Fucking Furious minus numbers because that shit like, is junk. And that was a cop People out. People are always so like was this. a cop out. It's, you can't just say one because, like, it's really, like, it's Phil, dirt. But if no, you've yes, got reasons, because yes. Phil, you like ask somebody. I, I will disagree who hates with you all the day movie on this Batman <laughs> versus Superman. You ask somebody who hates a movie like Batman versus Superman, and what do they think of it? They're like, uh, I didn't like it. And then they go on, and it's like seven out of ten. It's like no, if you think it's a one out of ten if, movie, say it. If and there's this redeeming is, qualities. It's not going to be a one. Yeah, it is. You didn't think his acting was great. This it would have been better. He said no. It would have been better. Yeah, yeah no, said, it wasn't. Yeah. No, he said it's yeah. a bad. <laughs> Phil, it's a bad performance. It's one of Tom Hanks' oh, worst performances. I, oh my god, it this was one depressing. Hit you so bad, didn't seeing it? him crawling around, like I liked the idea of him playing into like sort of an old man, and then it was depressing. I'm like, oh, is it, so I have to see him with the old man walk. Were, were you like, like this for Castaway? Were you like, oh, I had to no. watch him talk to a ball the whole time? No, because <laughs> Castaway had good direction. Not in a ma- bottle. Oh, a ball. Oh, yeah. a bottle. Away, had you care about the volleyball, he creates it in a yep. fit of rage. He's threatened with losing it at most points. You see him talk and grow while talking with a volleyball throughout the whole thing. And you see them almost, like, understand each other. You see how much he cares when he has to let Wilson go. Like, that's the mm-hmm. that is such him. a yep. huge thing. Finch d- accomplishes none of that because oh, it had such uh, bad direction. Uh, it, that's what happens when you get a TV your director. Your review is a 1 out of 10 on my book. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. But it's like you'd be better off not watching this movie. Uh, like, if a person in their nope. life. I, I think it was a fine 10. watch. It's good if you've never seen a movie before. Oh my <laughs> this could be the starting level <laughs> and then you move up. Just uh, make sure that the next film you watch isn't Batman vs. Superman, because I totally disagree with you. That is not a film. Watching Complain.com, where we argue with each other. And also, Batman vs. Superman can fuck right off. And FilmGamer.com. Oh, yes. That's FilmGamer.com. And Cobb's Bread. They're good. Yeah. 